analyze old age how to analyze it old age using astrology all right uh, interesting topic not a nice topic <laughs> what we need to analyze we should analyze old age because in fact people use astrology for uh, their youth like you know when will i get married childbirth and all this but for most of the people uh, these things happen because these are time specific events okay but old age is like a very long thing you know? so in my opinion uh, apart from planning about childbirth marriage career and all we must use astrology for planning our old age okay so now this old age is a very big topic and we cannot cover in one area but what is important for us to understand is that there are certain parameters which we can use to get an idea of how the last years of the person's life will be okay last years doesn't mean last two three years but the last 10 15 20 years okay now how do you define old age so when is it like uh, nowadays the lifespan is getting longer so is it 70 is it 80 is it 60 well uh, that is a separate calculation uh, that depends on every person but in general, how do you know that a person is old? Well, a person doesn't like to take risks anymore, then you know the person is getting old because uh, taking risk is a symptom of youth, okay? As per the scripture, so if a person wants to settle and is wanting stability, uh, now, now nothing wrong in wanting stability, but if the person only wants stability and not an iota of risk, then you know uh, the person thinks he or she is getting old in life, okay? So therefore, depending on that person's uh, nature and when that thing comes out, uh, you will know if the person is young or old, okay. But nonetheless, let's take a standard age like 60 years. <laughs> let's assume a person retires at the age of 60 and he doesn't want to take risks anymore and he's planning for his old age, okay. So now there are two factors here which are very important the first factor is the overall chart which we'll discuss now and the second factor is the mahadashas during the age of 60 and later okay and even before discussing all this uh, there there are certain things which you can do like calculating the longevity of the person and there's a formula for cal calculating longevity uh, but I generally don't discuss that and I avoid doing that because that can create like fears unnecessarily. <clears throat> but nonetheless, uh, if you get to know around how much will a person live, like 85, 90, 95 or you know, maybe even 65 or maybe even before, <clears throat> then you can follow the following steps and then you will get to know how will be this person's old age. So the first thing that you should check is uh, the person's lagnesh why the lagnesh because the lagnesh deals with health now the lagnesh also deals with longevity but let us assume that this person will live for 90 years maybe from 60 so why the lagnesh is important because the lagnesh will tell you how will the person maintain his health irrespective of uh, external situations like even if the health is not good how is the person still maintaining it a bad lagnesh may give you bad health management even if things are great okay a good lagnesh can give you good health management even if things are bad in the context of your health so therefore uh, the more you maintain your health properly the more uh, longer you will live so therefore please check the lagnesh the stronger the lagnesh the higher the probability that the person will have a good life and we are not talking of longevity here even if the person stays for 50 years uh, or 100 years the person will uh, be able to do normal things and you know will not have to depend much on others okay so now after you see the lagnesh you need to see the sun because the sun is the cargo for vitality enthusiasm and you know the fire passion aggression in a good sense and all this so more the vibrant the sun the more uh, the person will feel alive you know even if the person is old okay 
and then of course we need to check the fifth house this is the third thing the, the fifth house we tell you uh, what a person is passionate about throughout his life so if the person has a bad fifth house or <laughs> average fifth house rather then the person may not have any strong desire to live and to live a long life you know the, the person may want to live for thousand years but there will be no worthwhile reason for the person to live, okay? Even if the person is young, he will be depressed, okay? So therefore, uh, if the fifth house is very strong, uh, then you know that this person will uh, have some very strong desire, some love, some passion, some enthusiasm, some vigor, some vitality, and this person would love to stay till that purpose is fulfilled. So, the Lagnesh, the Sun, the fifth house, and then you need to check the ninth house because the ninth house is the house of spirituality and uh, the ninth house will tell you how much uh, spiritual this person will become during his old age and uh, not just old age but in general also but how, how much will that fru fructify okay so the ninth house is very important because it will tell you how well you are able to connect to the divine so you know the, the person if he ages 60, 70, 80, the person will do more spiritual practices, he will have less anxiety, uh, he will do more fasting, he will live longer and you know he will have a better uh, life and he will also become a preacher if he has uh, practiced lifelong uh, spiritual, uh, if he has read the Shastras, uh, if he has associated with other sadhus, he can also contribute. So this is a major factor and then the person will be happy and the person will be surrounded by others and uh, as modern medical science has proven many many times that you know your mental health your social connections your uh, happiness friendships has a long 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 uh, ha it takes you a long way when it comes to your physical health okay so therefore uh, if you feel that you are not happy enough maybe you should join some spiritual community that will actually boost your happiness okay so what is the next parameter that you should look? The next parameter is you should look at Jupiter. Why Jupiter? Because Jupiter is a very important planet. He is the Karaka for the 9th and the 11th house, house, houses uh, apart from 2nd and 5th uh, and the 7th for ladies. So Jupiter uh, will tell you how blessed you are by God, how blessed are you by your karma. And uh, it is said you know, in the scriptures for a man, uh, his wealth is his... Uh, good karma is measured in three ways. So one is if he has a, a good wife who supports him. And the second is, is he, if he has a lot of wealth and prosperity you know, by which he can ha have an easy good life. And the third is if he is blessed with good children. Okay, So these are the three ways by which you can measure fortune for a man. Uh, but of course among the three, uh, the scriptures say that if a person, if a man has a good wife, then he's most fortunate. Uh, because wealth may stay with you, may not stay with you. Children may stay or may not, but if your spouse, your wife, or even your husband stays with you for long, then you are very fortunate. So, <clears throat> if Jupiter is well placed, then the person gets support from society and, you know, other things. And by that, the person can have a relatively better life, you know, old age care and all this. You know. So... If Jupiter is badly placed, you know, you won't get help from society. You are all by yourself, okay? So, then the next thing that you need to check uh, is, you know, your, <coughs> your 10th house, okay? Why, why am I saying the 10th house? Because the 10th house is the house of karma. So, what, what kind of karmas are you doing? If the 10th house is not good, the person does not have, like, you know, any uh, ambition or anything like that. And the person then... When he turns 60, uh, he or she feels, ah, that's it, you know, my life has kind of ended, you know, I've retired. But if a person is having a strong 10th house, then the person is very much motivated to do something in life, even if the person is 100 years old, okay? So therefore, a strong 10th house will take you way ahead in your uh, old age also. And during your youth, of course, all right? So these are some factors and parameters which you can look, and there are some, there are, a thousand other factors which you can look, which you should look 
and another thing is of course you can you should check the moon because the moon is the karaka for longevity and uh, good health uh, white blood cells which show your immunity they are also controlled by the moon so if the moon is well placed then the person is happy and the person is is likely going to have a better life irrespective of how the externals are okay so therefore please check how the moon is what is the moon doing and at the end do not forget to see which dashas a person is running okay so if the person has good dashas and all these factors or majority of these factors are supportive then the person will have uh, the person will pass away from this world in a relatively better way and if uh, the dashas are bad and uh, things are not supportive then uh, the person will have a miserable old life and a pathetic death okay which is very unfortunate but what to do not everybody has such good karma right so therefore uh, depending on their actions they will go to the next body which could be of a human or animal or any bird or anybody or they may ascend to the heavenly realms or they may go to the hellish existences or if they remember krishna at the time of death they will go back to the spiritual world of vaikuntha as lord krishna says yad gatvanani vartante tad dhama paramam mama the one who reaches my abode oh my dear arjuna never returns back okay so depending on your actions your end result and your next life will be decided all right thank you so much if you want a consultation from me you can find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him at the end of your life <laughs> and you will find him for sure thank you so much for your patience and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think is getting old all right thank you